Good evening, I'm the Game Tutor, and tonight we're going to be doing quite an unusual video. It's not very often you get to see my hands. Now, what we're going to do today is we are going to look at Nintendo Labo, most specifically the RC car. Now, there's a lot of videos online looking at this, but what I most specifically want to be looking at is I want to be examining, is there a better material you can make Nintendo Labo out of rather than the cardboard? Now, this is the Labo cardboard. It's quite a thin cardboard. I was actually quite surprised when I first got it out of the box at just how thin the cardboard is. If you look clearly, you can see, if I hold it up to the webcam, you can see it's got a fairly tight corrugated weave. Um, but it is actually quite strong. You know, it's quite durable. Here I've got it on my switch, and, you know, I can hold it up quite happily uh, without it kind of breaking or flexing too much. It's a fairly, fairly strong, for how thin it is, you know, it's not going to withstand the earthquakes, but I'm, I'm quite impressed at how thin it is. I thought it was going to be thicker, um, and that's kind of shot me in the back when I've made some of my other prototypes. So just to kind of give a bit of an idea, you know, if you haven't seen one of these things working by now, the RC car works by using the HD rumble of the Joy-Con controllers, and then you use the switch. You can actually see the little um, eye infrared camera. You can see my hand just waving just there, and I can move it forward. And there we go, and it works pretty well. Um, I'm actually quite impressed how well this thing works. Obviously, it's quite noisy, and I'm sure you're picking that up. But you know, there we go, um, and that's it with the built-in. Um, you know, what comes included in the box. Now, I actually then went on to design the thing. Right, so first and foremost, I have a small child, and he is going to completely ruin this absolutely entirely. So the first thing I went to try and uh, come up with a new replacement for is I said, right, what's going to happen if we cut a Nintendo Labo piece out of just plain old card? So this is a essentially a Labo made out of well this was actually part of a box that had photocopier paper in so i made one of these put some some of the graphics on it as well um and this is my my finished thing okay so as you can see it's exactly the same size but it's actually made out of um, a more common type of cardboard it's made out of a, a thicker weave cardboard um like you would get in most sort of shipping boxes and most things that would come come up to your door. So let's put the Joy-Con controllers into these um, and see if these work. So as I said, this is a much, much thicker weave cardboard. And it's not, it does feel, it definitely feels a little bit flimsier than the uh, official Nintendo one. Um, so let's see how it works. Obviously my infrared camera is still working. So it works pretty well. It's a little bit slower, definitely wants to favour turning right than left, but it does move, which is something. Um, it's definitely not as quick or as responsive. How about if I play with the frequency? Get it to move a little bit more. But, as I said, it's definitely not as smooth as the... Um, was the actual Nintendo model. So that was, the, that was the, the first one I made this morning. As I said, at this time also when I made it, I hadn't actually built that. So I was doing a lot of this off the plans that are freely available on the Nintendo of Japan website. So next thing I went on to make was this one. Now, this is actually using um, a type of card called Greyboard. Now, greyboard is something which um, you use quite a lot in art and model making and that kind of thing. It's quite a high density card, um, and if you can see, you can hear that. Greyboard's pretty hard. Um, I actually etched all the graphics on it, and I thought the graphics actually looked quite nice onto this piece of greyboard. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go compared to the normal official one this greyboard one is a lot heavier and i mean a lot heavier i can definitely feel the the increased heaviness let's say in this one compared to the sort of original traditional one so 
give it a go and see how this one works. Now, the problem with this one is I didn't realize how thin that cardboard was, and I thought it was going to be thicker cardboard. So this, these greyboard ones, you really, really have to force them on to get the Joy-Cons in, which isn't uh, ideal. So if I was going to make this again, I would make those joins, these little joins in there, just that little bit um, looser. Um, but it's a lot heavier, and I'm guessing that's going to have a positive or a negative um, effect. But it is very sturdy. This is a lot sturdier. I mean, like you can see, like I can drop this around quite a lot. This is a lot sturdier than the uh, official Nintendo um, Labo uh, by quite a considerable margin. So let's see how this one responds um, to to what I'm doing. Right. Okay. So it moves. That left doesn't seem to do much. Oh, okay, so it's moving quite quickly. I don't have a massive amount of control over it, I must say. I don't feel like I could get this to go straight, even if I tried. Let's try with the auto, see if it'll follow my hand. Okay, it's struggling to follow my hand. It's struggling to follow my hand so i think the problem with that one is i think this gray board is just too heavy um one thing that's really interesting is when i was actually building these um nintendo made it quite clear that the flimsiness that you get is actually part of what makes the rc car work so maybe actually the more flimsier cardboard is a better fit for the rc car it'll be interesting when i sort of start playing around with this more with some of the other um types of uh labos to see if maybe different materials are more suitable like so you know I'd, I'd love to try and build something let's say i think the piano out of gray board would work really well so uh let's force these back off um if i can without breaking everything there we go um so yeah that's that's the gray board one nice idea but i think it's a little bit too heavy now before i knew how thin the cardboard was i actually made one out of acrylic um this is three mil acrylic um some of you might know this as perspex um and i had to do some modifications such as i i got rid of some of the tabs and this thing is just sort of bent at the back it's not actually slotted in anyway just because i wasn't going to do that with acrylic and um, unfortunately the problem is is because this is three mil acrylic um it's it's just too thick it's just too thick for me to get the joy cons into if i sort of try and put them into the side uh wrong way around um they just don't fit so that's a no starter for even gone anywhere i could potentially mod this i could sat i could uh file or sand these little side sections down um but that's going to cause me a bit of a problem um, i think what my plan is is i do really want to try one made out of plastic for the obvious longevity is i think i'm going to make one out of high impact polystyrene um next week rather than acrylic um and which is obviously a lot thinner i can make it out of one mil hips um and we can see what kind of end result that gives so um i think what what i really wanted to sort of say here and prove was actually the official labo cardboard is very very good at doing its job and it's actually the you know what i would kind of hope for um doing it with replacement card um it works it works kind of okay it's definitely the best out of the three prototypes i made um, but it's not quite as good as the official cardboard um i do will have another go at this using thicker more expensive cardboard uh, in fact the labo sort of getting started set comes with some extra cardboard so i might have a go at cutting my own out of that um the gray board feels really nice holding this feels a lot it feels nicer actually than the original it feels really solid um, and i'm definitely gonna have a go at making uh, one of the other toy cons out of um gray board i just think at the moment with something which does require it to be a little bit flimsy this isn't isn't quite it for the rc car and obviously the acrylic one doesn't get off the ground because i can't attach it and i haven't necessarily got the tools with me right at the second to do that i am going to have another go next week making out of a uh, high impact polystyrene which is a lot lot thinner um 
and, and we'll kind of see how that goes. So let me know what you think. Uh, any other materials you'd like me to have a go making a RC Labo car out of? Leave a comment below and there we go. Please check out our other videos on www.thegametutor.co.uk. See you later. If you've enjoyed tonight's video, please like and subscribe. Remember to come and check us out at thegametutor.co.uk where news, articles and videos are updated on a weekly basis. Also, please check us out on Twitter, Facebook and Dailymotion.